In this lesson, we're going to take a look at technical considerations. So we've got our project planned out, we've got it laid out, we've got it visualized, and we know what we're going to do here. We've got our five buttons, and those are the interactive portions of our design. Those are the only part of our design that the user is going to be able to interact with. So we've got to understand the technical considerations attached with each action on each of these buttons. So for example, the close window button. The technical consideration attached to that would be that when people click that button, we want the window to close. We want the application to close. When they click on the visit website button, the technical consideration would be that we need to open a web link in their default browser. Uh, we've got an Indigo Rose button, which is going to be information about Indigo Rose. We've got a New Features button, which is going to be information about the new features. And we've got an Introduction button, which is going to be a little introduction. In each of these cases, the content on the pages will be text content. So the same consideration applies to these three buttons, and that will be that we need these to jump to a page that contains the text for each given topic. So basically, the technical considerations apply only to the interactive portions of your designs. And before you go to the next stage, you really want to have these well in mind so that you understand where you're going to be applying your actions and what those actions need to do. It's going to save you time in the long run, and a lot of times, at this stage, when you're planning out your interactivity, you'll notice certain problems or redundancies that you can iron out right now before they actually become problems. Okay, so this was a quick lesson, but a very important one, and we'll go on to the next lesson now.